bit harder to push on if you don't really know how to play this area and can be very very kind of campy for heavy tanks around here as well as that it can be very open in the middle of the map as well as over here so i'm going to show you everything you need to know about the map and where to go with each class so let's get started okay kicking it off the light tanks this is a more risky spot but i wanted to show it first because a lot of people will do this in the first bit of the game and yes it does work yes it can fail spectacularly but it's for the most part you can do this without losing too much health now right here is when you're going to meet the enemies and you can actually start shooting at them because well i mean you could shoot them back there but you're on the move so it's not going to be so good because this map is basically symmetrical you're going to be meeting here at roughly the same point obviously there's different speeds between the two tanks unless it's exactly the same so you're going to be meeting around about here once you do meet here is when you can actually trade shots and start killing them. Now, you do have to be careful because if you come here on your own and you're outnumbered, chances are you're going to die. So if, you, if you're if you a 1v1 and there's one light, light tank on your team, which is you, and there's one light tank on the enemy team, then yeah, you should try and do this. Because if you manage to get rid of their light tank first, then you're in a massively beneficial position as your team because if you don't have a light tank on this map it's quite hard to actually win the game it's a bit it, it can be a bit campy this map it's not it's not got loads and loads and loads of positions where you can flank around and do stuff so ha having a light tank in the middle especially really benefits your team because from here like look at the amount of vision you have you, know, you could see here you could see the tds that sit over there you could see the village you know so once you get here let's say you kill the light tank um what what should you do from now then because you obviously want to spot for your team well you could be actively spotting like this for example i just spotted the um micro mouse over there but that doesn't really you know you run the risk of getting spotted yourself while doing that and then getting shot while doing that so although yes that's a great idea and it's useful because you can pop up at different positions i would actually recommend trying to do something like this now what what i'm going to show you now is i have about a 60 to 70 percent success rate on this so you come up here and because you have bushes there and there you can actually just push your tank into here and you'll have perfect vision on here and here and here and you should be pretty camoed from basically every direction now when you enter this bush be aware you see how there's kind of underneath like this that is you can get spotted for it i know it kind of sucks but you just need to be careful of it so when you come up make sure you use as much of the bushes as possible sometimes you're just going to get unlucky you're going to get spotted if you get spotted get out of there straight away there's no point sitting there when you're spotted another bush that you can choose is this one over here from this bit but you don't really have the luxury of having either side kind of having the bushes there so when you actually go up here you run the risk of instantly being spotted by there and there so you don't really have that straight line where you can curve around like in that bush so what about the other side then i mean we might as well talk about it here while we're in this kind of location because i'm there's no point in me showing you running all the way from that base into here well if you come into that bush then you could actually go into this bush here which is roughly the same one here but just the opposite side and it kind of does the same thing but there is actually a better bush you see how over here there is a farmhouse or barn if you actually get yourself situated in here the only thing that you need to worry about because this is a solid object like look i can crash into it it's it's going to be completely protecting me from that side and anything over there the only thing that you need to be careful of is if anyone pushes here so once you come up here you could then sit in this bush here don't knock that over because then it's going to reveal your position but this is just for demonstration purposes and then you can see people that are over there you see how it's how that slope is there that's right there in that little courtyard area 
And from that, you can also see anyone that is going to be sniping. You could destroy this. It might actually be worth it if, you sh if you've if you been spotted. I'll tell you what. When you're coming up from this side of the map, if you've been spotted, shoot this. Because if you shoot this, kill the light tank, and then come into this bush. Like, look at the difference of the actual potential vision that you have. That's quite a big difference. Uh, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't be spotted from this position. As I said, not unless you've... Well, make sure you're just behind the bush. Don't stick yourself through it. But you've got bushes there. It's not really going to make any difference. You could sit behind that one. But then you kind of don't have as much vision. Because from here, as you can see, it's to, it's just not as viable. Like, this bush right here has lots and lots of spots you can actually be spotted through. It's not completely bushy enough, let's say. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so this, this spot's really nice. So they're the, they're the two spots in the mid from either side of the map that I would suggest going to. The only thing that you need to be worried about in the middle is obviously the light tanks and making sure that you kill them fast enough to actually progress through the game. And once you kill that light tank, you should be good to go. Okay, so next spot. And for this map, because it's basically symmetrical, I'm not going to show you both sides because it's roughly the same place. So as I did with the middle, I'm going to show you exactly the same, but it's going to be over here. So I'm not going to you know, insult your intelligence here because it's just driving around this side rather than that side. And they're basically exactly the same. So it is over here. Now, there's two ways that you could do this. You could actually sit in this bush right here and you could spot people that are coming across. It's not the best. It's not the worst, but you could do better if you went up here. The only problem with going up here is that you will probably get spotted by anyone that's going to be pushing up. So you need to be careful. Use this as an initial spot. So maybe go like this. You go up here. You get into this bush. And you just sit here for a few seconds. Spot anyone. And then back off. Once you realise that they're going to be actually coming up to this hill. Alternatively, over the other side. You could do the same in that bush there. It's pretty much exactly the same. As you can see, they're pretty symmetrical. You... Probably we'll see a roundabout similar. The only thing is that people that come across around there, you won't spot. The same with people that come from this base and go across there behind the mound, you won't spot. But if you want to come up to here, then you come into this bush, you do your spotting, you come back, and you go and do whatever else you want to do in the game. Now and again, if you just peek up, it's going to be fine. You just do a little bit of active spotting, and... Yeah, that's basically all you can do on that side of the map for light tanks. If it's very, very crowded there, you could fall back to there and try and just do a bit of spotting from there. Although it's not the best because there and also there, you're not going to get as much vision because any medium tanks that are sitting up there or fighting it out are going to spot people that are around about here or over the, over the other side there. So that's not the best spot for light tanks. I would much rather go into the middle at the start of the game, but it's there. It's something that you could use. Moving on to the medium tanks. Now, you can obviously go up to the, where the light tanks are. Just don't go into the bush. You just sit around there, shoot what you can. So I'm not going to show you that again. However, if you're in a, in a more heavily armoured light uh, medium tanks, not a light tank, uh, if you're in a more heavily armoured medium tank, say like a 430 or 430U, maybe don't go there because you do need gun depression to do that. So if you're in a more heavily armoured tank or you just want to go over here, for whatever reason then this is the spot right here and you want to fight out in the village now straight away you're going to have lots of different tanks that are going to go here you're going to have heavy tanks you're going to have medium tanks you're probably even going to have td sitting at the back at like here so you got to watch out for quite a few things now straight away it's always useful to have a little bit of a spot you just spot here pull back you don't want to be sitting there for any more than that you do not want to sit there waiting for the enemy all you want to do is just have a quick look and pull back straight away. Because if you sit there for too long, you're basically dead. Same with this bit. You can just peek. You go, hello. Yeah. Pull back. You don't want to sit there for too long. Especially if you're in a Lorraine, for example, that has basically no armor. You don't want to sit there for too long. Another thing that you could do, you could play this ultra aggressively. You could, if you're in a faster tank and you have a few tanks with you, just push straight into here. Because the person that controls here actually controls quite a bit of the map. 
Now, it might not seem like that, but because of the fact that you're in the middle, and there's a light tank in the middle as well, remember. 90% of the time, there is a light tank here. So, if you control this, and it's actually controlled, so the enemies aren't thinking about pushing, then you could just go off down here, under this bridge, and just shoot any, any light tank that's sitting around here. It counters that position completely, and also anyone that's sitting in this bush here, you're then countering them. So, to actually push this in a medium tank is actually a very good idea, because then you control quite a bit of the map and you don't even realise it. Once you've done this, tanks with gun depression can go up the side over there. It's a bit like this. I mean, if you're in the uh, Swedish medium tanks, this spot will be pretty good, or Swedish TDs. I don't know why you'd bring that here, but tanks that have the um, hydro pneumatic suspension, this bit would be pretty useful because then you can actually shoot people that are in this bush here. And yeah, as I said, it's a pretty balanced map on this side because it's very symmetrical. As you can see, there's a building there and a building there. On the opposite side, there's a building there and a building there. Both indestructible. You cannot destroy these two buildings or these four buildings if you want to look like, like that. It's impossible. And you both have bushes there and there. So it's pretty much exactly the same either side. There's not really one side is better than the other. It's just the fact of who has the better tanks at this stage. Or who knows how to use their tanks better in the game. So exactly the same on this side. You just peek, you fall back, same with that. And then if you want to push this, you can push it. Um, one thing I will say is that this side actually does get a little bit of an advantage over when you actually push through here. And I say this because there's not so many places that TDs can sit at the back here. Like sure, there's places that are right at the back. <clears throat> but that's not really great. Whereas this place, it has a hill at the back. So you're elevated. Which means that you're actually looking down on the tank. So a tank that's actually pushing up here. Although head on, it might have a load of hull armor. Because it's sloped. For example, if you push up there in one of the, one of the Swedish medium tanks. It's going to have a load of armor. But because you're actually aiming down a little bit, it's going to be a little bit easier to penetrate it. Over this side... No, there's no hill like that. There's nothing like that. There's even a big old barn in the way. There's two barns in the way over that side. The barns are all the way back there. And they're nowhere near where the spots of the TDs would actually be. Not to mention, this spot has a great hold down position as well. Even for tanks like this, the Lorraine. It can, it can just peek up, shoot, go back. Keep doing the same thing over and over again. No problems. Over this side, it's a little bit more tricky. Because it's, I don't think it's actually as sloped. It might be. Let's have a, let's have a quick test. But if you, it's, as you can, eh, you might be able to do the same thing. It depends. I think that that's a little bit less sloped than this, but it might just be me. Either way, you can sort of do the same thing, but as soon as you peek up to this point, because they're higher up, they've just got a direct line on you. So. Yeah, this spot is nice. It's kind of balanced. Um, I'd recommend going here in your medium tanks. There's not really much else that you could do apart from go over there. There's no point going into the middle of the map from the beginning. There's no point going there in your medium tanks. It's kind of you go either side of the map. You go here or here. And that's about it. So obviously it's exactly the same. Just go from that side though. Okay, moving on to heavy tanks. So... This spot over here, which I'm going to show you right now, can be a bit squished. And if there's too many heavy tanks, you, it can almost be a detriment to your team. Because the more heavy tanks that you have, the more squished it's going to be. So I would always recommend the faster heavy tanks go around to here. I mean, there's no point sending a mouse and a Type 5 Heavy around this location. Because by the time they get there, they I mean, the game could be already over. Because... Your team, whoever's team pushes more aggressively could just absolutely slaughter them. And then if you're on the opposing team and you're in your Type 5 Heavy, they're just going to absolutely rinse you. It's just going to be no more. 
and then by the, on the on the alternative side, your team could push aggressively, and then you're still trundling along, and your team's already pushed into their base. So there's not much point of sending a Type 5 Heavy and a Mouse there. You might as well send your faster, me faster mediums and faster heavies down there, whatnot. But this is the position where you can sit in your heavy tanks. This is a pretty nice hold down location. You can even like push yourself up a little bit. I've done this quite a few times in my IS-7. And you're basically golden if you're in your IS-7. Because you could just sit here. And the only thing that you need to watch out for is anyone that sits around here. On that little co location there. And the TDs which will sit at the back which I'll show you in a few moments. Because if you do say like this. Say you're side scraping. Not side scraping but... You've got your pike nose in your I-7, or any hold down tank, such as the 277. You're actually exposing this little bit of hull armor. And now, if they're obviously over here, especially in the I-7, that then becomes quite flat. So you can actually get pen pretty easily. And if they have good penetration, like they're a tier 10 TD, with great premium rounds and pretty okay standard rounds then you could be in trouble so that's why i say you should really prop yourself up a little bit if you can um i've used this to mediocre success i would say it's worked quite well a few times but then also you kind of have to find that perfect balance and the perfect spot um if not use your team as cover honestly if there's a type 5 heavy here just pull back a little bit you can then use him as cover Alternatively, you could just rush straight into this position and because this is actually a little bit over, well, it's, it's a ramp. So if, if I try and actually get a good spot on here, you're only going to expose a tiny bit of your hull armor to the enemies. So if you're then a little bit further back, you could even side scrape a little bit like this. And then you could try and kill people from there. Just be aware that you are going to expose a little bit of your hull armor doing this. So, if you're on a mouse, this spot might be actually quite good. Same with that. But over the other side, it's exactly the same. You just do the same thing. You can't really mess up this position too much. Another thing that you can do, if, say, you win that, that flank or you kill everyone here or everyone there, then you can actually push this a little bit and then try and snipe across into the village. Now, obviously, you want to do this a bit later on in the game. Don't just rush forward straight away and try and do this because you're going to die. But you can get shots onto the village. You can use this kind of whatever this is, this little building as cover. You can also go here if you actually own this side of the map. Obviously, if you don't own this side of the map and you've got TD sitting over there, don't go here. That's just complete suicide. But you can then kind of use this little bit as a hold down cover and you can shoot across over there. Lots of people sit behind the church as I've already shown you. So then you can just snipe across like that. So that's another useful position that you can utilize. And finally, TDs. So there's a few places you can actually go. This map, this map is actually quite good for TDs. It's one of those maps that you can actually get good games on in a TD. Straight away, I would not recommend you sitting in this bush or this bush. These are fake bushes. Don't sit in them because they got the bit underneath. You could sit in this one, shoot the middle, whatever, whatever you feel like. There's plenty of bushes like this. Always sit in the bushy bush because it's not worth sitting in these because you will get spotted quite often. If you can see that they're kind of see-through a little bit, they're fake bushes. You don't want to be in them. Um... That's kind of my theory about the bushes, because lots of players complain about being spotted through bushes, so that's kind of how I... Well, every time that I've gone into one of these types of bushes, I've been spotted. But when I've gone into, say, this type of bush, I've not been spotted. So that's my theory on those those bushes. So yeah, again, you've got the bush there, bush there, there. Lots of bushes to sit in. If you then want to go and sit over here... You can, obviously I'm do, doing this in an E25 so it's a little bit faster, but you can sit in this bush over here, any one of these bushes honestly, um, as long as you have like line of sight to the enemies and they're not outside your render range. In fact, you could actually, I mean you're in an E20, if you're in an E25 you could just sit out in the open and not get spotted, but you could just sit over here, you then got direct line of fire onto the church pretty much. 
as you can see right about here is where it ends and there's the bush there so you can shoot anyone there anyone that peeks up there you've you've got a pretty nice location right around here uh, again you can go over to this side you could sit in that type of mound thing you can also go and sit on the train tracks which is what i'll show you now okay so once you're over here you can actually see quite a bit of the enemies now the only thing that you need to be careful of is if you're in a low profile tank like the e25 it's going to be a lot harder for you to actually shoot anyone so if you're in a higher up tank you can actually move back quite a bit and then still have vision onto these people over here but this is roughly the location where you're going to be sitting so if you do get smashed by a td it might actually be worth trying to blind fire over here and seeing if you can shoot anyone again you can shoot there uh, but let's move on to the other side of the map now okay so this side of the map as you can see, it's pretty unbalanced. Because TDs that sit here have way better chances of actually hitting these people and doing damage. Whereas over that side, as you saw, it, it didn't favour the low profile tanks. An E25 could sit here quite happily and just blast away at the enemies. You're even outside of the render range, or the, sorry, the view range of, your, of the enemy light tank that might be sitting up on that bush. So you could just sit here all day, just absolutely blasting away at any enemies that are around here. Like, no issues whatsoever. That's actually quite funny that I only just got spotted by that guy when I fired at 260 meters away. Okay. But, as I'm saying, this spot is great. So, what other spots are there? Well, they, you can go to the normal TD spot over here. As you can see, there's actually quite a few bushy bushes. Yeah, I'm going to use that term from now on. Because that's... Um, yeah, not none of these non-bushy bushes. You gotta have the good bushy bush. But there is lots over here, a lot more than the other side. Um, although it doesn't really matter too much because you only want to be sitting here for a certain amount of time in the game. You can go into here. This is quite nice. Got nice vision. Or alternatively, you can just go all the way up here. And I mean, the the thing that you want to be looking at most of all in your light tanks, your TDs is the bush because if it is like what I said and that's my theory of why so many people get spotted when they you know shouldn't be with the bushes is because of those kind of little bits in between the bush where you can actually see through them now you could just go normally up there but you know I like to ramp up stuff and this is what I mean about this position over here now there's this bush here that you can use to kind of conceal yourself a little bit and then you can just shoot anyone that's trying to peek up on that location there. You can shoot anyone that's going to be over there. In between the gap. It doesn't matter. It's a great position right here. So that's about it. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did then you should actually uh, join the Discord. Because I'm always on Discord. You can come and hang out. Uh, talk to me about different things. I'm always willing to actually talk to people about stuff. And I will see you in the next one.